Hello, golf friends. Gary Bates here from the Gary Bates Golf Academy. Thank you for joining us for Tour Swing Tuesday. I'm a PGA teaching professional and certified V1 video analysis coach. We had a special request from one of our viewers, Brandon, and thanks for writing in, Brandon. And he asked if I could show a video and analyze a swing of somebody that's tall. So he asked for Thomas Peters, who I don't have, who I'll do in the future when I get his swing. And this is Patton Kazire. And what a fantastic swing this is. If you're tall, this is a great swing to model after a very good player, ranked 51, 51st in the world right now, currently two tour wins. Let's take a look at this action. I want to show you a position here uh, that should really help you as you really think about club fitting. Okay, so here he is at a dress here with an iron. And so you're going to see him have quite a bit of knee flex here. So his knee line over the balls of his feet or actually even outside it towards the toes so being 6'5", he really tilts over quite a bit and maybe a little more knee flex than some. Um, you're going to probably want longer clubs if you're in this height. Um, and that's part of club fitting, obviously. you got a little trigger here with his knees, real fine. You can have one. I love it. Gets the club kind of started away. That's more than acceptable uh, to have that move. Okay, now, as he goes back, and this is quite a bit of opening of the face. So you got this toe-up position uh, right here. I probably prefer a little less face rotation, but I've mentioned many times a lot of variation uh, with good players, and so he just happens to be a little more open. Okay, now turning to the top, and he's got a beautiful swing. I saw him at the Travelers a couple months ago. Very impressive player. Hinging his wrist, turning back, right? And his hands in front of his chest, so not whipping the club in too much or out, right? That's sort of a standard position right there. Very nice. Getting to the top right here in a beautiful position. Club right down the target line. A little short of parallel, right? 45 degree angles, flat left wrist. This is beautiful position right here. And so he gets himself in a position to then flatten the club. Now, he reminds me a lot of Gary Woodland. You can check that video out sometimes. He gets the club you know, slightly above the original shaft line plane. So he's going to be fade bias, right? So most of the guys on tour, girls even, prefer to fade the ball for control, especially the longer hitters. Like if you smash it out there a million miles, you're probably going to want to play a fade. Dustin Johnson and then most recently Roy McIlroy decide to go that way. Certainly quite acceptable and maybe in many cases preferred. So you're going to see him above the original shaft line plane, right? You know, bisecting his arms, but a little more, let's say, slightly outside in. So when you look at that, Right here, when you see the club outside the hands, fade bias, right? Perfectly acceptable and um, and very good, right? So turning out of the way, compression with his head, right? So, you know, he's staying down the shot because you're going to get compression uh, of the ball, right? And you need to have a divot to do that, which he does. Now, here's a position right here I want to show you. And something you want to consider when you're doing some club fitting is how high his hands are to dress. I wouldn't say this is necessarily bad. I think you see, again, you know, a lot of variation among tour players. So he has his hands high. Now, this would tend to, if you don't get your clubs adjusted, uh, could put yourself in a position to get toe-deep divots. So when you get fitted, dynamic fitting, obviously when you're in motion, very important. I re recommend that you do that. I think it's a factor. Sometimes we sort of don't emphasize enough as teachers the importance of club fitting. I know I don't, so I'm saying it here. <laughs> uh you know, toe up position right here. So he very much goes toe up to toe up in his golf swing. And then, you know, up onto the right toe. So, you know, just a really nice golf swing with him. If you're taller, uh, you know, I would say this, there's not really one swing. Matt Kuchar is fairly flat. Dustin Johnson, a little more upright. You think of the taller players, co-crack a little more upright. He's tall. So, you know, find a swing. You like the position of Ernie Els, beautiful swing. He's one to model after. So hope that helps you. Uh, more information, check out over there on Facebook, Gary Bates Golf Academy on YouTube. Love when you subscribe. That would be great. It would help me a lot. Help me build the channel. Love your comments when you give us a thumbs up. And uh, we love hearing from you. Like, thanks, Brandon, for uh, writing in and, and asking about this. And if you have a player that you want to see, hey, write in. Or something that you want me to analyze in terms of a position or a swing a thought, I'd love to do that. So thank you for being with us. As always, appreciate you a lot. God bless you. and look forward to seeing you next time on. Tour Swing Tuesday. Take care and bye for now.